nice bright vibrant colors just a gorgeous bluegill out of y'all it is summertime it is hot that means vacation time that means outside time and of course that means some fishing time so in this video i'm going to tell you what i believe is the best bluegill bait on the market this is based off of four things one fish catching ability two versatility three durability and of course the final probably the most important one is price now the bait i'm talking about is the donkey tail junior from mule fishing and this is my experience with it over the past two years of fishing it along with a ton of other panfish and bluegill plastics this one has probably outperformed them all now this is the donkey tail junior it comes in a pack of 12. it's a 1.6 inch paddle tail swim bait super simple super stretchy it's got a nice little boot tail that kicks up so much action and it's got these ridges here that add to that flexibility and that action you can trim it down to size by cutting off the head if you want to or you can keep it as is and normally i keep it as is unless i want to size down my profile so in terms of fish catching ability i have used this lure like i said for two years and it has outperformed everything that I have in my backpack. All the way from the old trusty gulp minnow to even live bait. Now, if you are going to be fishing this, the best way to fish this lure is on ultralight gear. You're going to want an ultralight rod that can cast light lures and jigs, an ultralight reel so that you're not putting a bunch of line. It's just easier to cast out. For example, right now I'm throwing out a 164th ounce mule jig and I'm able to cast it a pretty good distance. Got one, got one. Ooh, that's a good bluegill. That's a good size one. Big old tank of a bluegill. And they just inhale it every time. That is right down its mouth. Look at that beauty. We've only been here a few minutes and we already hooked into a good one. We're gonna put this one back in the water. I've had this lure outperform live bait especially in those highly pressured public spots like this one oh i just got a bite where this place just gets hammered and people come with their bobbers and the worms and the fish kind of grow weary of that and they start to stay away from live bait this lure just helps me catch fish in those instances got one yeah buddy oh she feels nice oh yeah she's beautiful look at this beauty nice bright vibrant colors beauty of a bluegill we're just gonna let this one go back in the water in terms of gear and setup you're gonna want an ultralight setup to enjoy it the most like you could do this with the medium rod if you wanted to but the fight's not gonna be as fun. And that's where I think a lot of folks have a bad time when they go bluegill fishing, cause it's like, oh, they don't put up much fight. Usually it's because they're using the wrong gear. They fight like crazy. And if you have the right gear, you're gonna have a good old time catching a bunch of bluegill. Another one, good one, good one. Ooh, this one's a fatty. This one's big. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that beauty. Just a gorgeous bluegill. Inhaled that lure too. Versatility is another reason why I like this lure. You can use this lure as a drop shot. You can use this lure under a float which I do a ton in the winter actually. But one of my favorite ways to rig it is on a jig spinner, specifically the Bronco blade. And I use a workhorse jig because it's got that tapered shape. And we just set it up just like this, a beautiful little setup, nice and easy. And this is one of the best ways to cover a ton of water because you just toss this thing out as far as it'll go and you just start reeling it in. And if the fish are in the mood for something moving and fast, they'll come out and they'll hit it. Like that, I just got a hit right now. But it must have not, oh, it did. It did, I have one. Oh, I had one. Man, I had a bite and it came off. Maybe they just had the plastic. Got one. 
finally. There we go. Nice. Another bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. Nice stripes. Good spot on the dorsal. Beautiful, beautiful fish. A little toss back. Oh no. Oh, there went the rig, I think. Yep. We broke off. I switched back to the jig. The only time I ever have to replace these plastics is when I break off like I just did. And they just seem to last. They take bite after bite after short strike. I mean, I could show you all the short strikes that I've gone through just in this session. And any other plastic I would have used probably would have had to been replaced at least once by now. This one still holding strong. So we're going to keep fishing with this one. Got another one. Yep. Oh, different species. Bycatch. <laughs> Little largy. They catch largies too. Little dinky. Little dinky largemouth. We're going to put him back in the water so he can grow and get a little bigger in here. Got another one. Ooh, that one's got a good old fight in him. Oh gosh, yep. What a beauty. Oh no, they spit it out. <laughs> That's what I get for messing with it too much. <laughs> and last, but most importantly, price no one wants to be burning through cash on lures that break that's why the durability is important but in terms of price you pay about five dollars and some cents and you get a pack of 12 lures that's about 40 cents per lure and like i said i've been fishing this exact plastic since march it is now july and as long as you're not breaking off every other trip which you might but that's fine as long as you're catching fish and all you're getting is short strikes these lures are going to last you a long time Ethan for Fish Anything, the creator of Mule Fishing, won't say this, but this is why it is the best bluegill bait because bluegills are notorious for short striking and these things do not break under those conditions. And guess what? If the boot tail does come off, it'll still catch fish with this little wiggly tail that's left. So $5.50 gets you a pack of 12, about 40 cents per plastic, and you're going to be cooking. You're going to be catching lots of fish. Got one. Look at this guy. Smallest of the day cute little guy i saw him come up and hit it whether you're catching bluegill because you just enjoy catching them or you enjoy eating them or you enjoy catching bluegill this size for bait this thing this thing is your best bang for buck got one. Oh yeah oh yeah that's a nice one yeah buddy Look at the chunk on this one. Nice and easy. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty of a bluegill. Nice and dark. I'm going to put this one back. I mean, you're seeing. You're seeing how many fish we're catching. This thing catches a ton of bluegill. Got one. Got it. Got it. Another bluegill. Beautiful. Can't beat that, so picture perfect. I love that. And on that one, we're gonna call it. Ethan is too modest to say it, but this is the best bluegill bait out on the market. If you wanna pick it up, link will be down in the description below, along with everything else that I used today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.